Sandbrook Adventures. Right, it's time for day number two here on the Disney Dream, our first ever Disney cruise. Beautiful morning out here on the ocean, somewhere between Florida and Mexico. We've got a full day at sea today, and it's actually a Marvel themed day here on the ship. We've got lots of Marvel entertainment and characters throughout the day. We've got another lovely meal to look forward to tonight, and we're going to be having a good explore around the beautiful Disney Dream as well. What a gorgeous morning though. I'm really excited to go in the pools today, go on the aqueduct slide, and so much more. And of course, capture more of the fantastic entertainment that Disney put on here on this wonderful ship. We're going to start off though with some breakfast. Look at that sky this morning. It is gorgeous up here on deck 12. Looking down at the pool, it's just gone 9 a.m. So it's not too busy around at all. Really nice vibe. Already got a movie on straight away for people to enjoy. Slides open just here. Aqueduct opens around lunchtime. So I'm going to be getting on that this afternoon. I'm making the most of the pools. We have this beautiful day. Really nice temperature, about 25 degrees Celsius. And we're down here on deck 11 now, where we've made our way here to Cabanas. So with breakfast, there is three options. You can have room service, delivery room. You can go to the sit-down So we thought we'll come and yeah, check out the buffet just here, Cabanas. This is also open at lunchtime. It's not open on an evening because you go to your uh, special restaurants at night. Uh, but yeah, this is open for breakfast and also lunch too. And there's lots of other food options that you can have throughout the day, uh, like little snack areas. Uh, so we're going to show you those. But yeah, we'll start off with breakfast in Cabanas. Looking forward to seeing this, the main buffet. It's all these little details that I've been looking forward to seeing here on a Disney cruise ship. You've got the different castles from around the Disney Barge. How cool is that? I love that, like made out of sand. So we've got the old Hong Kong castle just there. Of course, Tokyo here. Walt Disney World just there, Magic Kingdom. Disneyland and Disneyland Paris off to the sides. I love all these details. That's cool. Starting off and over here at Land's End, breakfast of the world. The different options that you've got just over here. Looks like there's a lot of choice. You can have a smoked trout there if you want to for breakfast. Oh, there's Charlotte. <laughs> I'm straight in. It's, there. it's like a lot of choice. Yeah, you can have a kind of what we would call an English breakfast. Just make Sausages just there, bacon, scrambled egg. Some croissants just there as well. Turkey sausage. Mickey Waffles. Hey. <laughs> there they are, lots of choice in here. Buttermilk pancakes. Ooh, lovely. Some glazed donuts just there, they look quite nice. I like the theming in here, there's kites on the wall. Like these little cabanas, of course, with the name. Totally toasted. There's a lot of choice. Got some bagels in there, which is good. And we queue up just over here. Oh, we got some muffins and pastries just over there too. They look nice and croissants. Lots of choice in there, isn't there? I'm gonna go back through that way because they had omelets in that one. Oh, did they? Yeah, you like the omelets, don't you? And head down in that direction. And you can look out at the beautiful ocean through the windows. Mine, mine, mine. <laughs> You've also got like a, a continental section over here with cereals, some fruits as well, which is like my sort of thing. You know me, I don't like too much for breakfast. Look at this beautiful mosaic on the wall. This is nice, Finding Nemo. Some dry fruits. Got some apples there, look at all the cereal that you've got here too, that's nice. Greek yogurt just down there. A lot of options. <laughs> some nice fruits just down there too yeah very impressed there's a lot of choice something for everyone the food so far on here has been great and then it also extends into here ah this is cool with the clocks the time at the different disney parks around the world again you've got hong kong just there tokyo walt disney world disneyland and that just leaves disneyland paris down here what a nice touch so you got some more options just here some oatmeal and granola dried fruits i think the theming is very good lots of seating quite spacious in here as well more muffins more pastries just down there all them donuts look good 
Got like park benches around here. Ah, oh, and also you can actually dine outside looking at the ocean. That's nice. Got a little breakfast bar area off to the right. And also full service bar by the looks of it too. Oh, this is lovely. Yeah, you can go outside and dine down at the back of the ship. Wow, look at all this space. And then it's kind of repeated over on this side as well, just to help spread the crowds. Very well thought out, this. Yeah, and even like the decors repeated on this side with the castles made of sand over there. Oh, these pastries are looking good though. Right, going back around that side, find Charlotte, we'll get a seat and tuck into our delicious breakfast to start the day. Oh, well, this is nice, just sitting out here at the back of the ship. Yeah, Lovely. Like cash browns, turns out McDonald's ones. Oh, do they? Nice uh, breakfast for you. Mm -hmm. I've just gone for some Rice Krispies, some milk. I'm going to get a Mickey waffle and a muffin and a few other bits as well. You know, you've got a selection of juices available that are included as well, including Minute Maid orange juice. But yeah, I love this location down here at the back. This is very nice. Oh, yeah, I've got my Kellogg's Rice Krispies just there to start the day. And over here, I've gone for two of the blueberry muffins and also the chocolate pound cake as well. And then I'll probably go back and get a Mickey waffle because why not? Pay for it all, may as well make the most of it. This is the thing with cruises, I'm stuffed but I'm still eating. I've gone for a Mickey waffle just here now, I thought I've got to go for it. Look at that, Mickey Mouse shaves, which is lovely. Yeah, we'll have that, make our way out of Cabanas. Very impressed with breakfast. Well, I am absolutely stuffed after our buffet breakfast there at Cabanas. How was that for you? That was fantastic. There was so much choice from continental to cooked to fruit. It was a really good breakfast. Yeah, I had a banana as well. I don't normally have much of breakfast. I bought the banana back because I didn't have any out of the butter tomatoes. I've got to take one for sure. No, I was very impressed there. And the Mickey waffle, that was really nice too. Delicious that was. Yeah, really impressed with breakfast. It does get very busy in there. Well, there is a lot of seating, which is good. And I love that little area out at the back where we were stood. Now, of course, it is the Marvel Day at Sea. I was going to check out the Marvel Avengers Training Initiative Show, which is going to be happening just over here in a moment. To show you that one of the like interactive experiences, I think that's one where the kids can all kind of sign up and uh, to be, like be trained like by Marvel characters. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, let's have a little look at that and then go and have an explore around the ship. Yeah, there's the aqueduct, which is the water slide that runs round. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's great. It's got a big queue at the moment just over there. Well, yeah, I wasn't expecting it to be open until 12. I'm sure it's at 12 on the app, but yeah, it's before that. It's open, which is good. So. The weather's really nice. It's busy. It is warm today. It is. It's lovely. I could just sit out on this deck all day, to be honest. It is gorgeous. There's just something about being on a cruise ship and looking out and just seeing nothing but the ocean that is really special. I just love watching everybody come round on the aqueduct. And yeah, we're going to be able to take you all along. I've seen quite a few people using GoPros and phones on there. So yeah, we're going to be able to take you along for the ride, which is going to be good. And here's the Avengers training initiative. Captain America down there. And yeah, they're getting everybody up, getting involved with the action just here. Yeah, nice and interactive for the kids and anybody that wants to get involved with it. Charlotte also noticed the pool has appeared just down there. So when it was the sail away party, that was all covered up. It didn't look like a pool, did it? No, it didn't. I was like, oh, there's a pool up here. <laughs> it was just be covered over for that sail away. And that's how all the kids were sat down there at the front. And of course, you can check out our first vlog of the series here on the Sandbrook Adventures. interactive entertainment here on the ship and look at this piece of theming over here it looks like Donald Duck has crashed into the side oh no <laughs> So after watching a little bit of that, we've made our way back down here to deck three, where we're going to have a look through the shops in just a moment and check out the Disney Cruise merchandise. Uh, but yeah, we're also just outside the Walt Disney Theatre and we noticed that it actually turns into a cinema as well. So yeah, you've got lots of different Marvel movies showing today, with it being the Marvel Day at Sea. It's good with that. They play the movies in the theatre and they also play it like on the pool deck as well. Toy Story was on yesterday. Yeah, I think that's really good. Like, so much going on. So you've got this whole main area here where you've got the different shops. Diamonds and Wishes just over here, a jewellery shop. Look at this. All different watches and 
rings and all sorts in there. Hey. I think it's Black Panther. Yeah, so they're doing all of the character meet and greets around here. Absolutely. Photos, and then we've got loads of shops. So yeah, they kind of go all down that way. And all around here too. So we're here inside the first shop now, which is Sea Treasures. It's nice in here, all the theming around is fantastic. Very similar to like the park shops, you know, lots of detailing to see. <laughs> We've got some nice pyjamas over here. These feel so nice, I really like these. $49.99 for those. Embossed Disney Cruise logo on there. T-shirt's quite nice, $29.99. That is just printed on. But it looks quite nice, that does. I prefer the things that are like embossed, you know. Nice hat. This is also 29.99. <laughs> that suits you, that. It's so cute. It fits with your uh, dress that you've got on there as well. That's nice, that is. Nice little hat. Mug just there with Mickey on. That's 16.99. You got like all your 2024 merchandise around here as well like these shirts just here have we got a price on we have 29.99 there's a lot of 29.99 yeah, going is. on it's more of a colorful range i like these towels range. yeah they're nice these are also 29.99 <laughs> guess it i think everything is isn't it <laughs> oh pins they're not 29.99 oh, 16 there we go <laughs> yeah it's like the disney parks they do like the 2024 stuff don't they like the year which is quite nice yeah i definitely want something to take home from this with it being a you know something i've wanted to do for a long time a very special experience oh, that. nice little ornaments nice. just over here you got the price just on there 26 no oh, not 29. <laughs> <laughs> oh you can get the little golden mickey statue there <laughs> which is the show that we saw yesterday key, key rings adapter plug that can come in quite handy can't it stickers just there all sorts, yeah, they all go by the different colours for the prices that you can see there at the top. And stickers. Nice jackets. Yeah, some Halle Hansen jackets just there, Mickey Mouse on. They are $175. Expensive. Oh, I like the hats. <laughs> hey, golf balls. That's nice. Oh yeah, it's actually like embroidered yeah. in there as well, isn't it? And that is $39.99. To be honest, that's not too bad actually. No, because it's a nice one. Yeah, isn't I it? like that. And the, the white one's quite nice as well there. Yeah, I definitely want something, you know, because I've wanted to do one of these for so long and who knows when we'll next do one again, you know. Get your suitcase. Just under $200. Got some nice shirts just over here, so. Some dresses. Yeah, loads of dresses. It's quite a nice shirt there, $150. But you have got the characters on there and also the ship itself. Yeah, they do some nice things. And this is just one of the shops, it's massive in here. For $55, you can pick up this really nice print just here, which is beautiful. Oh, I love these. Like the big resins just down here. How nice is that? Disney Cruise Line. $49.99. It was $95, so it's on offer. Disney Cruise Line celebrating 25 years, of course, with 25 just on there. Maybe that's why they're selling it off now. Spirit jersey. You like the jerseys, don't you? I do. $89.99 for that one. Yeah, what are you thinking to it design-wise? I think it's a little bit plain. I saw someone with a nice one on yesterday. I've been trying to find it, but I don't think maybe it was from previous years. Yeah. I think for me, it's just, I like a design on the back. Yeah. So it's just a little bit plain for me. Same sort of price as the parks, are they? Yeah, as well? they are, yeah. $89.99. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, and they do it in kids' sizes so you can match. Oh, that's quite nice. We've seen quite a few people like in the matching clothes. Sail away. I think I like all this sort of colour stuff the best. <laughs> yeah, like... Because it's fit, embroidered. Fits with the ship. That is lovely, that. Captain Mickey that's and Captain really Minnie. Nice. I think that's how much it is. Yeah, what a lovely design. $59.99. To be honest, that isn't too bad, is it? That is lovely. I like the colours of that. It last a long time. Like, proper classic, like, cruise colours. I like that mug's good, all this design, yeah, I like these. There's some lovely things. 
Yeah, this is all my favourite stuff. It just looks nice and nautical, doesn't it? Like with the stripes oh, on there. <laughs> it's got the patch on the front. Oh. They're not too badly priced oh, either. Yeah, I really like that jumper, just. I thought that was great. Back pants. Nice as well. It's got loads of compartments in it, so that would be really handy. 95. It's nice though. Yeah, it's one of them, it's built to last, isn't it? Oh, and it's got like a clear pouch in there. Ah, that's Isn't cool. That? Impressed with some of the merchandise in here. Very nice. Oh, there's some more jerseys just over there. Lounge fly bags. It's got like the ropes on, quite that's nautical. Quite a nice one with the sleeve. With the Mickey. Yeah, you've got one this sort of colour, haven't you, as well? I've got one from Disneyland and it's pretzels. Yeah, same sort of, like a lighter colour. $79.99 for that one, so it's $10 cheaper than the other one. Yeah, quite nice. And right opposite, we've got Mickey's main sale, so we're going to have a look in this shop now. Lots of plushies in here. Now, Disney love play sets. I've got the monorail and also the railroad back at home. But you can also get the cruise ship just here. Just under $100. <laughs> oh, that's good. Got the characters on there as well. These are quite cool as well. It's like the little models of the ship for the kids. And then they go forward. Here we go. <laughs> that's really nicely designed. A big window just looking out at the ocean. Loving that. Sailor Mickey and Minnie. And we love these. I love this. So when you go to your room, you get towel animals and you can actually buy the oh, yeah. versions of them. Like, that is cool, isn't it? It's $26.99, so they've got that one or they've got the monkey. <laughs> They're good. I That's like them. So yeah, it's nice how so you can get like Goofy, Chip and Dale, and we've all got the sailor outfits on just there. $24.99. The plushies. Pluto just there with his little hat on. Get Duffy. Yeah, there you go, Duffy. Aww. Oh, I like Duffy. <laughs> I always like to get the handy tips in as well. You can also get medical supplies just here if you do need them. Of course, they've got a medical team on board. Um, but yeah, you can buy things just here if you need them as well. Into another huge shop, look at this. All connects through. Very nice around here. Literally feel like the Disney park shops, don't they really? I love park shops. <laughs> They're really good. Get the robes just there. Ah, oh, that's the same as what we've got in the room, isn't it? So you can purchase that as a nice little memento. Nice mug. That's nice. $19.99. What I like about that one, it doesn't just say Disney Cruise Line, it actually no. says the Disney Dream, so you get the collection from all the ships if you wanted to. <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? $12.99. Love these shirts here, $54.99. That may be the purchase that I go for, for my little memento of coming here on the Disney Dream. Yeah, it is nice. I do like that. More spirit jerseys over here. That's a really nice one. I like that. $79.99. Mickey looks one. quite chilled on there as well. <laughs> it's relaxing. There's some very good merch, and of course, exclusive to the cruise line as well. Welcome aboard. Put your photo and your cruise just in there. Pin badges over here. All your Marvel merchandise. Yeah, some really good stuff. <laughs> Hopefully we can find Groot today, it should be about. I am a huge fan of Guardians of the Galaxy. So I watched all the films not long ago and Baby Groot is just so cute. Have you got an impression of, of Groot for the viewers? I am Groot. That's pretty good. We've also got Rocket. <laughs> the Raccoon. <laughs> and you can buy like all your pirate dress up over there as well. Because we have got Pirate Night coming up with fireworks, let's see. Oh, I'm all ready for Pirate Night, what do you think? I mean, the hat's quite nice, but that doesn't really suit you, that, on your hand. <laughs> it's too small. <laughs> and if you love collecting your Disney ears, then you can get them just here as well. Cruise Line Specials. $34.99. Lots of t-shirts over here too. Disney Cruise Mode on. That's quite a good one. $29.99 for your shirts. Mandatory vacay shirts. <laughs> We've got a nice collection of prints down here. Some of them with characters on and some featuring the destinations, including Castaway Key just there that's going to be coming up. And there's the prices for the different prints. Not too bad, really. 
the floors are so nice and shiny as well as you're walking around the ship. It's all the little details, like look at the handrails over here. It is lovely. And they're always cleaning as well. That's the thing on cruise ships. So clean. Yeah, look at the design of this. It is wonderful. And that leads down to the atrium. White caps, which is a bag and jewelry shop. Pandora in here as well. Bag. Look at that. It's lovely. a price on it. <laughs> $298. Look at that. That's lovely. Set a course for adventure. God, we've even got Louis Vuitton bags. Wow. <laughs> First time I've ever held one. <laughs> wow. I don't even want to know the price. <laughs> no I didn't even say. Didn't even say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, we've just found out. Go on, you can it's break it to the viewers. 1560 dollars. <laughs> 1560. We've got some more prints just over here. Oh, that's nice. Lovely, yeah, nice variety of shops. And there's a Pandora section in here as well, with the park exclusive just down there, and Mickey and Friends off to the left hand side. Sunglasses down here as well. And you get the statues. The golden Mickey's. Oh, it was a really good show. I did enjoy that. Some more wonderful statues. Necklaces down there. Earrings. And look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. Imagine that on the mantelpiece. Just out of the shop there now. I wanted to show you just behind guest services. All the castles and cruise ships in a bit more detail. Oh, that's awesome. I just want to also point out with guest service. We never mentioned this in yesterday's vlog. When the case went missing, Charlotte from guest service actually came to the restaurant to make sure that the case had been delivered. Great service. Yeah, she knew we were going to be there at our table and she wanted to just make sure we had the luggage. She like. came over to the table to make sure that everything was okay. Fantastic service. That's the Disney service for you. Yeah, great cast members. So that leads through to a little bar area. And you got more elevators there. Disney Vacation Club area. And back here into the atrium, looks like something's about to happen. That's the thing on a cruise, there's always something going on, you know. Oh, it looks like someone's going to come out on the balcony, possibly. I think it might be Wakanda. Ah. Yeah. And you have also got all the screens around, giving you information as well of everything that's going on, which is good, all the upcoming events and activities. And of course, we've got the app with that as well. And yeah, we have also purchased the Wi-Fi, but we'll talk about that later on. We'll go through the options for Wi-Fi. And that's where we came on, isn't it? Yeah, it would have been, yeah. this atrium in here, you can just sit in here all day. Ah, maybe they're gonna come down the stairs just over there. Well, someone's coming down the stairs in a moment, so we'll wait around here and see. Look at this carpet, it's gorgeous. It's just spotless, like, it's so clean. I'm loving these massive windows as well. So nice. And of course, tomorrow we're gonna be in Kazumal, Mexico. I don't think we're saying it right, do you, Charlotte? No, the, the person, like the entertainment person, said it yesterday, and I completely forgot what he said. But yeah, I think we're saying it wrong. Uh, the cruise director, who's like Kazumal, I think he said it, something like that. Yeah, I, I really don't know. We'll find out for tomorrow. We'll have to ask a local. <laughs> There's another ship over there. It looks like a, a cargo ship just in the distance oh, over there. It's quite a big one. Yeah, we'll see who's going to emerge down the staircase in just a moment. And of course, that's where we're dining again tonight at the Royal Palace, and it's a marble menu tonight, just over there. Nice sign. I just love the finishing touches and the details, all the shiny floor, and it's beautiful, it really is. Take on this special mission. In fact, tradition and honor. 
It's a really nice location in the center of the ship, in the atrium, for all the characters and shows that they do just there. Yeah, it's got a really nice atmosphere about it. I just love all the decor. And also, this is nice here on the wall. A right, really nice art piece. And this is the Mermaid Lagoon from Peter Pan. Yeah, we were just saying, this looks like a screen. It doesn't look real, does it? And that's the thing, like, without having our like, magical porthole in the window, it looks just like that, doesn't it? It does, and then characters randomly pop. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I'm going to keep on exploring. So we've got Animator's Palette, which is down this way. That's another restaurant that we're going to be going to another day. Oh, that's a cool photo on. Here, I'll get you sat in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> oh, that's quite nice. I'm surprised you like that, but you're not liking it more. It's okay, it's a bit glassy. <laughs> there we go, I got a better shot of you now. <laughs> Very fancy, this is. I love all the decor. Oh, oh wow. Oh. That's, that's what we can see on the, yeah. the camera. Oh, I think they're dropping that cleaning and cleaning the, the windows. <laughs> Ah, that was cool. Well, maybe the camera has got like one of them attached to it, and that's it. He's done it. Like, that's, it. that's brilliant. Actually, they're always cleaning on these ships. Fantastic. Now we know what it is. Royal Palace, another entrance to it just there. And there's maps everywhere, which is good. A nice picture on the wall. Head down this way. So here we have got Animator's Palette coming up. Looking forward to that. I've heard good things. A lot of people I know that have been on this ship before have said that's their favourite restaurant on here. So I'm looking forward to that. So this is Animator's Palette down here. They're actually doing a meet and greet with groups down here at the moment. There he is just over there. This looks nice. I'm looking forward to dining in here. It's like big long tables in this one. There's Groot. You can just see him over there. Over in the distance. <laughs> Hi, I'm Groot. Some more lovely artwork on the stairs just here and more character meet and greets down there. With a few of the characters you do need to book a reservation. We couldn't get one for Groot, but we did get to see from a distance. <laughs> yeah, we did. It's always worth getting them booked in advance online. This is where we were last night, I think, down here in the district. Which of course is like the adult area on an evening. Let's carry on having a bit of an explore round. There's so much going on for the Marvel Day at Sea. Loads of entertainment and characters around. And just here you've got like the Marvel super fan face off and other experiences that you can get involved in as well. That's the thing with the cruise. It's all very interactive, lots to see, lots to do. And I like how it's all themed into the different days. And over here in the D lounge, you can meet Spider-Man and there he is, just over there. Spidey. So we've made our way now down here onto deck four, where you've got Carriage Jewels, which is another jewelry shop just over here too. A bit of an explore down here. And you've got the little Vista Cafe just over here. Oh, and look at these. Orange chocolate cupcake. And again, they're all themed in with the Marvel Day at Sea. Croissants, caramel tarts. And the rice crispy they look nice. cakes just there as well. Cranberry slice. And we can just sit here and enjoy the view. Oh, this is lovely down here as we continue exploring the wonderful Disney Dream. Nice carpets here. And this is another theatre, this is the Buena Vista Theatre, just over here. It's like one of them shopping seminars where they're giving away free stuff. Ah, oh, ready for tomorrow when yeah. we're at the, the, the port. Ah, oh, that's cool. So yeah, this is another big theatre. I like all the lighting. And yeah, I reckon we'll be seeing some shows down in here too. Loads going on. It's great. There's so much to see on these cruises. I just like walking around, you know, seeing all the details. And here's a look inside the theatre itself. Yeah, very nice. I believe we're going to be coming here for a show at some point during the cruise. Oh, this is the life it really is. I love it out here in the sunshine. It's so nice and warm today as well. Oh, it is lovely. So what we've done is we've just been into the theatre and we've just watched like the shopping um, show that they have on and it's basically telling you about all the shops that we're going to see in Kazoomal. That's how they pronounced it. I've got my little map ready for tomorrow and that shows where all the shops are on a little map of where we're going to be going. Yeah, it was all about like diamonds and jewellery and things that you can purchase. Telling you like places to shop that Disney recommends. Yeah, because that's the thing. You've got to be careful when 
when you're going to some places. You don't want to get ripped off, you know. It's recommended places. Oh, this is lovely out here. We're right around underneath the lifeboats just here. I think our muster station's further down there, isn't it? H. Um, yeah, this is nice. A few games to play. I like how wide this is down here, you know. Uh, instead of it being really thin, like this is lovely. Really is, and you've got some deck chairs, some sun lounges down there. That's nice with the Disney Dream on. What a gorgeous ship, it's really nice. And yeah, you can kind of run around here, I reckon, and just like do your exercises and stuff if you want to. And there's a gym somewhere, that, that's it, that's Charlotte's running. Yeah. <laughs> Another nice interactive picture. I love these, yeah, at least you stand in front of them on the little golden circle. SS Mini, that's nice. I think these are construction photos from the ship by the looks of it. See the side of it there. Oh, I love all these little touches. Yeah, it looks like construction off the Disney Dream. Look at all the stickers. Like people really go to town and they put the little bags out and they've been gifted like different items. Like it's really so nice. Cute. Look at this. People really go for it. Just nipping back down to the stateroom down here. <laughs> Balloons, look at this, Chinese New Year as well. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, they put these little baskets out. Cute. And little bits of pixie dust are given to them. Oh, it's lovely. And back here in the stateroom and on our magical portal, you can see we're looking at the back of the ship just there. I was waiting for a character to come on. We had all sorts. Mr. Potato Head came on last yeah, night. Yeah, wait, you've saw Mr. Potato Head. Now I haven't seen oh, him. Oh, oh, there we go. Can you imagine there. if that was Mr. Potato Head? Oh, that would have been scary, now. wouldn't it? Is it Marvel characters today? I'm not They're too not, sure. We saw like a hippopotamus in a skirt this morning. <laughs> yeah, we did. Normally they do this little oh, thing. Oh, oh. Is, is it Captain Hook? There we go. Yeah, it looks like him, Peter Pan, I think. Wow. Is it? Yeah, because the crocodile. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? There wow. we go. Oh. Gone, that's it. In the water. It disappears, yeah, that's a nice like live view. I think this is fantastic. I'm a big fan I of that. that. Yeah, it's great. We're gonna continue on having a bit of an explore round. We get some lunch soon as well. We'll check out the buffet again for lunch. And also there's some other options upstairs, isn't there, as well? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> so there's like some little like quick service counters. I think there's like Flo's calf and then ice cream and stuff like that. Yeah, so we'll go and uh, keep on having a bit of an explore round. I tell you what though, they soon come into the stateroom, like and they come in not just like once a day, like multiple times as well. I you think know. They come in twice a day, from what I believe. And there's even roll my trainers up. Yeah, like, they're really good, like emptying bins, just tidying really up nice. and obviously you can always call up if you need something as well. Yeah, they're fantastic, the service is really good. As we continue on with our Marvel Day at Sea. I'm back out, making our way now down to deck five. Let's go and have a little look around the area. Oh, I'm loving this ship though, it's so nice. So along with lots of the staterooms here on deck five, you've also got another entrance to the theatre, the port shopping area, port adventures, the Bippity Boppity Boutique, the It's a Small World Nursery, and some of the clubs just down there as well, along with a laundrette. So. Hey, here he is. Oh, one little spark. Oh, inspiration. Well, that's a nice happy birthday sticker. More nice carpet down here with Mickey Mouse on. I do love all these lights. And this is another entrance into that theatre that we're in just, I believe, as well. The Buena Vista Theatre just over there. It's a gorgeous ship. Like, there's Mickey on there as well. So many touches. It's really nicely done. I'm loving it. Just walking around and seeing it all. Oh, this is nice. Another one of those interactive pictures. So we started over here in Fort Lauderdale. And we're coming down here to Mexico and then Castaway is just up there. So I reckon at the moment we're somewhere like round here, you know, making our way in this direction. Cuba down there, all the Bahamas, Dominican Republic. We went down there on our last cruise, we kind of came down in this direction. And that's the thing you do in these cruises all around here. Eventually we'll kind of have all of this covered. But it's nice stopping at different ports and seeing different areas. And a nice picture over there, the Queen Mini. Another view of the spectacular atrium down there too. It's your port adventures area. You can find out about doing different things in the ports. I love just seeing all the artwork around. That's a nice one, Mickey and Minnie. Aircraft. The train just here. Kind of reminds me of like, it's a small world style. Oh, it's what they've done with this here. Uh, very nice. Oh, and here's an awesome view of the atrium. Yeah, this is the highest point you can go in here. Here's <laughs> someone dressed as Spider-Man down there. I do like how you got the, the lifts actually in this area too. In terms of waiting for the elevators, we've not waited that much to be honest. I think the first day you always get on is quite chaotic, but after that, 
it's not that bad, you know. So yeah, we're not really waiting much for elevators at all. All this detail is lovely around here. What a beautiful vessel. I love all the marble music. I can hear Mickey Mouse, what's going on over here? It's like being a detective. Yes. When you go around with like the detective yes. thing in a pet, yes. you solve it. You will use a high tech detective oh, badge. This is oh, an amazing nice idea. One tool that you'll use to solve the case. I love all these little things like this. To use it, you will need to face the black and white pattern towards the central. Nice little themed area. That's cool. Make sure your thing is doing properly. Yeah. And there's a look at the entrance to the It's a Small Old Nursery. Just over there. <laughs> I like all the colours and theming in there. That's really cool. So nice man. ears, Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> the Ocean Air Clubs. Yeah, you've got a lot of different kids' clubs, and there's not like just one, they're all for like different age groups that you can see. And you've got all sorts of different youth activities and things going on. The Ocean Air Club, and yeah, the theming in these actually looks really good as well. So, yeah, great for the kids. And also, it means you can kind of, you know, if you are coming here with your kids, you can leave them in the kids' club and then go off to enjoy the entertainment. And they're open like, you know, into an evening like this one's open till like midnight, which is really good. It's also a good way for other kids to make friends with other kids on the cruise. Yeah, I think that's great. Yeah, there's quite a few of these different clubs all the way around. And here's the Ocean Air Lab. There is just down here as well, doing crafts and all sorts of different things as well. Yeah, it is. Really good, like all these different sections, and they're all really well themed as well, as you can see from it all. Yeah, nice big spaces, thank you. Oh, look at that tiny little door! <laughs> oh, that's oh, cute. it's Pepe the King Prawn! Oh, that's good, isn't it? Oh, oh 5148 and a half. Just down there. That's quite cute, isn't it? It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. That's cool. <laughs> I like that. Oh, that's so oh, it's cute. tiny. I'm back here in the atrium. This is where you've got the Bibbity Bobbity Boutique where you can dress up as a princess. Always something going on in here. And that's them. They run different character meet and greets and shows at different times as well. As you can see, this one's much quieter than the one we came to earlier. Another nice little interactive over here too with Peter Pan. Oh, I like that. That's the thing, walking around the ship, you just find these different things to explore. So you're actually steering it? Yeah. That's brilliant. School rock over there. Ah, that's really cool. You do anything with this as well? I've got the treasure, I've got it. Oh, there we go. That is brilliant, love that. There's so much artwork to see all around this ship and it really is beautiful, including this picture here that we can see on some of the steps. Yeah, that's lovely. Really nice with the ship there on the right hand side. The bridge, the car, the train and an aircraft. So we made our way to deck 11 now. Another shop just here. It's like a swim shop. Who's it's and what's it's? Oh, look inside. Oh yeah, it's like all swimwear that you can buy just in case you forgot to bring any really. It's for the kids as well, like nappies just down there, so selling all the essentials that you might need whilst on board. Hi. Goggles down there too. Quite a nice bag. That all swimming shirts just over here, stop you getting sunburn. <laughs> oh, it's lovely and warm out here. And here on deck 11, you've also got Flo's V8 Cafe just over here. Which is really nice, all themes of course around cars. Oh, look at that, pizza's just over there, of course all including the cost, grab as much as you want to. Hot dogs down here, hello! <laughs> Hot dogs down here as well. Grilled chicken, mate's favourite, chicken tenders. There's Tomata. It's all looking good. Lots of choice up here as well. And this in addition to the buffet. And like we said, the buffet closed a little bit early. I think it's 2.30 closed today for Cabanas. And this is open, I think, till six, you know. So you've got so many options. Different seafoods down here. 
some fruits as well, all the tyres and theming. A nice place to just chill and enjoy your food over here. And that's round to the adult area that we walked around, I think, round there, which is good. Little salad bar over here as well. And there's a look at Donald's Pool again, the aqueduct up there. Looking forward to that this afternoon. Oh, it is lovely and hot. Hot till off to the left hand side. Oh, it's busy in there. Yeah, this section in the middle gets very busy. It's much quieter around here at night though, which is good. But of course you have got that adult area to enjoy. And we're going to head back into Cabanas for the buffet in just a second and see what's on for lunch today. You've also got a sweets and treat shop just over here too. So let's go have a little look inside here and show you what there is. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Now, worth pointing out, the things in here you do need to pay extra for, not included in the cost. Nice photo opportunity, pretty cool. Ice creams in here, speciality milkshakes, ice cream, one scoop, 375. Lots of different choices down there. Peanut butter cup ice cream. All your toppings that you can get just down there as well. Oh, quite nice, Oreos. Mm. Captain Mickey Cookie, five dollars. Ooh, look at that up there. Red velvet, white chocolate brownie sundae. A lot of these treats are very similar to like what you can get in the parks, aren't they really? Like the cupcakes and yeah, five dollars are a little bit cheaper actually in the parks. It's one of them though for me, like these look lovely, but when you can just go next door and get and stuff for free, there, right? you know, it's like, well, obviously not these exact ones, but you know, you've got cakes dessert. and desserts. Yeah, so one of them things really, if you fancy a special treat, then yeah, but for me, paid for all that in there, may as well make the most of it. Some lovely bits though. Of course, with it being the Marvel Day at sea, wow. everything changes as well, like all the signage. <laughs> oh, this is really nice, the Captain America brownie down there. I don't think $5 and $5.50 is too bad though at all. Like the Baby Group Marshmallow Stick, $4.50. Yeah, not too bad for the prices. There's the birthday cupcake as well. So yeah, extra cost with this one. Let's go and head into Cabanas. And as soon as you make your way into the buffet, just want to wash your hands just here as well. Wash facilities, keep everything nice and clean. Let's have a little look at what they've got. So Paradise Pizza over here. One selection, margarita, pepperoni. A few different choices down there. I do like it in here. It gets busy, but it's very nice. Neptune's Italian. Chicken tenders just down there. Oh yes. We like the park gives you uh, chicken tenders as well. French fries, plain pasta. Just down there. You like a good pasta, don't you, Charlotte? That's pretty good. Different soft rolls that you can get there. The galley grill. Yeah, lots of different meats. You say what we got: grilled turkey steaks, gr grilled jerk pork steaks, vegetables. Oh, some nice steak cut fries there as well. Proper, proper chips. You said like the thin fries. Yeah, that's good. More chicken tenders. Mac and cheese. Oh, your favourite, the mac and cheese. Hello. Some salad dishes over here as well. Are they crab legs down there? Yeah, they are crab legs. Oh, look at them, nice crab leg if you fancy. <laughs> Give one of them a try. Yeah, it does get very busy in here. I just noticed with this as well, Shanghai's missing. Probably because of course this ship was completed before Shanghai. But yeah, there's only the five clocks on there instead of the six. And it's kind of repeated around here and a few other bits, desserts as well. Ooh, these look good. Got some jello just there. Yeah, look at these, some nice little chocolate brownies, raspberry cheesecake down there. Oh, it's like the Pim kind of test kitchen items as well that we've got. Caramel coconut flan, carrot cake just there. Oh, this is nice. Hi! And again, you've got like the marble themed bits as well. Look at all that fruit there. Making the most of that. God, there's so much choice. The food on this ship is fantastic. There's so much choice of food. Like, the, the food on here is amazing. Like, it's really good. 
Uh, what a choice for you. Buffet. Lovely. Hello. <laughs> Any bar around here? Right, I think we'll get some food, shall we, Charlotte? Yeah, he carries on, like. There's so much choice. Like, I always say, you know, you get what you pay for. And you're actually paying a higher cost for this, and we'll go through all the costs at the end in the final vlog. But yeah, you know, there's so much choice, which is really good. Look at all this. Got some rice, beef chili down there. This one, sorry. It carries on down again. Is it different stuff as well? It is. Uh, some of these are like repeated items. Hello! Hey! <laughs> wow, this is incredible. And of course, you get all your soft drinks again, all included. Right, we're going to get some food. Cabana's buffet. Okay then, so we just come back to the state room after lunch at Cabana's, the buffet. The amount of choice in there is quite incredible, isn't it? They have got something for everyone in there, which is great. The crab legs were <laughs> delicious. I'm joking, I didn't have one. Not for me, but yeah, there was a lot of choice in there. Some really nice desserts as well. I like how it's all on theme with the different days. Obviously we've got Pirate Day coming up, so I'm sure there'll be like lots of pirate treats in there as well. Um, but yeah, really nice variety fresh as well, always bringing the food out, which is good. It is quite a busy area in there, as you can see, but there's a lot of seating, including that area out at the back. I think the theming and touches in there is great, uh, but you'd expect that, wouldn't you, from a Disney ship? You know, I knew before coming on here that we we're gonna be seeing a lot of great theming. It feels very classy, this ship, doesn't it? Yeah, there's just so many little details as well, which really make it. It is fantastic. We've had an action-packed morning looking around. We've filmed so much. So what we're gonna do is have a bit of a relax off camera now for a few hours. In fact, we're gonna go to the gym, aren't we? Charlotte. We're going to go and work off all this food. We're going to go <laughs> on the treadmill and have a look out into the ocean. We'll probably go to the gym a few times, so we won't take you along in this one today. We'll save it for another day, but we'll take you down to the gym and show you that at some point. Uh, and then we're going to jump in the pool. So I'll take the GoPro down, get a bit of footage around in the pools. But we've still got so much more to see tonight. We've got another dinner to enjoy and a couple of marble based shows that we're going to be seeing tonight as well. So yeah, we'll see you a little bit later on. It's just gone 6 p.m. and the sun is starting to set on our Marvel Day at Sea here on the Disney Dream. And we've had a lovely afternoon. I've not actually filmed anything else. I've just been relaxing and chilling out after quite a busy morning looking around the ship. And it's been really nice, actually. We started off in the gym. I did about 45 minutes of exercise in there. And then following on from that, went in the pools and just soaked up the sun, been on the lounger, having a nice relax. Charlotte's gone for a cruise nap now. And so I just thought I'd come up here onto the top deck and enjoy the sun going down and to be honest it's really quiet now the pool was busy earlier on as expected um, but it's much quieter on an evening now like come and have a look at this like earlier on all of deck 11 down there was full of people sunbathing yeah it was really busy when this pulled us down here and it was packed full of people as you can see now it's much quieter and that's the thing the first sitting of dinner is on now so it's a perfect time really if you're on the second sitting like we are and to just come and have a walk around and enjoy a much quieter time on the ship and that's the good thing with this uh, i was wondering before you know with it being disney is it always going to feel busy and action-packed and as much as there's always stuff going on you can still have a really nice chill Relax time, you know, it's not always too busy, and this shows it just gone six o'clock. Look at this, you kind of have the pool to yourself down there and soak it all in, which is really nice. Yeah, it's lovely. Now, we've also got two more shows coming up tonight up here on deck 11. So, looking forward to those, both the marble theme for our Marvel Day at Sea, and uh, yeah, Mickey and Minnie are going to be making an appearance up here as well. There's been so many character appearances throughout the day, which has been fantastic to see. If you're a big Marvel fan, then the Marvel Day at Sea would definitely be for you. So, yeah, we've got highlights of them shows coming up tonight. We've got dinner again as well, and yeah, so much more to see. It's going to be a great evening here on the Disney Dream. I love it down here at the front of the ship. So peaceful. And just watching the sun go down over the Gulf of Mexico. The camera doesn't do it justice. Beautiful. Just a little bit windy. Not too much though. <laughs> and down goes the sun on our marble day at sea. Beautiful. It's always wonderful watching the sunsets from here on a cruise ship, and that was really special. Look at this, nobody in the pool now. This one's open through until 10 o'clock. Yeah, it's like 6.30, you'd have it to yourself just down here, which is lovely. I'm gonna go and get Charlotte now from the stateroom. 
and make our way back up onto deck 11 where we're going to be watching the Marvel show, the first one of two that we're going to be seeing here this evening. Well, we've made our way up here onto deck 12 for a nice aerial view, looking down at the stage there on deck 11 of Mickey and Minnie's superhero celebration. Here's Charlotte. I'm back. I've had a nice little cruise now. You love them, don't you? I love a cruise now, which is so relaxing. I'm looking forward to the show. I'm really looking forward to it. Seeing Mickey, Minnie and the gang in all the little superhero costumes. It's going to be so cool. This is really weird because both the pools have now disappeared. It's quite cool. When we had the sail away party yesterday, this pool was gone. Uh, but now both of them have. So yeah, just for capacity, they kind of cover them over. Like, how awesome is this? Obviously, you've got other pools and stuff that are open tonight. But yeah, this is all closed off and turns into more of an arena style um, for the entertainment. And then we're back here later after dinner for a deck party and some more entertainment as well, which is really good to see. So yeah, we'll put some highlights in from the show over the next few minutes. Love the lights up there on the aqueduct. Still not being on it yet. Plenty more time though. Let's also have a look at our 
along with the carriage of shows. It was fantastic seeing Mickey, Minnie and all the pals there, wasn't it? They look so cute in the little superhero costumes. It's a really nice setup up there as well with the stage, all the lighting, the atmosphere. I love how interactive it was, getting everybody joining in as well. It was a fantastic show. And we'll back up there later for another performance that we're looking forward to. Time for dinner though now. Yeah, so we're going back to the Royal Palace tonight, but it is a different venue. Yeah, so we went there last night, had a lovely dinner, and we're back in here for the final time tonight before tomorrow we move on to Animator's Palette, which is the second restaurant that we're going to be doing, because of course you've got the rotational dining. So we're sat with the same people tonight, on the same table, and of course we've got the same uh, waiter as well. Let's go and make our way down, and we'll have a look at the menu. Hey, there's Loki. Loads of characters out here in the Grand Atrium before everybody makes their way in for dinner. There's Doctor Strange, you can just spot him in the crowd down there. Oh, it is beautiful in here though. Definitely my favourite part of the ship with that big chandelier. Well, let's head down for dinner, have a look at the menu. Love the signage just here for the Royal Palace. Let's have a look at the menu tonight. Yeah, we've got it displayed here on the screen. As you can see just there as well, sliced smoked salmon. Special menu tonight for the Marvel Day at Sea. Chill Californian avocado soup, Captain America, crispy fried Maryland crab cake, bread selection down there as well, some other entrees, Thor, just down there, not too sure what you get with Thor. I'm guessing it will change, I don't You reckon? Know. Oh, that's it. There you can see the roasted Scandinavian cod fillets, I think that's what I'm going to go for tonight. Base buttermilk corn fed chicken, that sounds pretty good. Incredible hook. Rosemary roasted beef tenderloin. What are you feeling tonight, Charlotte? I think I'm going to go for what you had yesterday. I'm going to go for the slow roasted breast of the chicken. It was nice, that was. Yeah, you just got like the, the lighter meals that you can have. And to be honest, that was just nice to me, that was last night. That's the thing, you're always eating so much on a cruise, you know. And hopefully we'll get the, the dessert. So there they are. Collector's warm apple crisp. These two sound really good. Ravager's devil food cake. That sounds good. Layers of chocolate cake filled with chocolate cream and an awesome mixed sundae and then the signature dessert is Southern Nights. Right, let's go make our way in. Hey, yeah, it's grew up on the balcony. We're just waiting to go in for dinner. And he's up there. Oh, I love it. was brilliant in the atrium. If you're a massive Marble fan, that's awesome, I've isn't seen it? Groot. I was like, it's Groot. And everyone turned around and I was like, oh, that's Everyone crazy. I won't go through the menu again because we showed you it just outside. I just started to show you the actual themed menu. It's like a comic just here, which is really nicely done. Sorry, I've got my star chicken. It's really good. I've gone for the same as well, so we'll see what that's like. I'm going for myself and I need a burger. You've gone for what I had yesterday. Yeah, this looks really good. I love it. <laughs> Mine is on the way. I've gone for the cod fillet. Yeah, the start was quite nice. It was a little bit tough though, but it was all right. I thought it was quite nice. Quite spicy, a bit like a Nando's. And I've gone for the Scandinavian cod just here. It smells delicious. I love cod. So we'll see what this tastes like. And after the main just there, that was nice. We're over on to the dessert now. This looks really good. Chocolate cake just there. Look at all those layers. That was pretty good. I've gone for the Sunday. Should be on the way. And as it's our Marvel Day at Sea, got the Marvel just on the top there of the Sunday. This looks good. I was in the restaurant again there for about 90 minutes having our three course dinner. The starter was all right. It tasted quite nice, but yeah, it was a little bit tough, I thought. I quite like the starter. It had a really good taste about it. It did come cold, but because it's a chicken satay, you can anywhere. Yeah, it was kind of lukewarm. Uh, in terms 
of the main. I enjoyed that. I thought the cod was really nice and delicious. I didn't enjoy my main, unfortunately, but the jacket potato was really good and the server did bring me another one. Oh, that's really kind. Yeah, you had two of those. That's the thing, if you want something extra or something taken off, they're really good, very accommodating yeah. with that. Uh, and then the dessert was delicious. Oh. Really enjoyed the sundae and tried a bit of yours as well. My dessert was so nice. I enjoyed that so much. It is nice though down there in the restaurant. We made really good friends with the people that we sat with. It's got a nice atmosphere. I also want to make a point with the restaurant. It's not a formal dining. You can literally wear what you want. Yeah, we just thought we'll put a shirt on a dress, but you don't have to. A lot of people were dressing out the marble gear. Uh, you know, fantastic, really nice atmosphere. We made our way though back onto deck 12. We've got the show out here tonight. Um, there should be some small fireworks with this, weather permitting, but it is quite windy, is windy, so I'm not too sure. We've got another chance of fireworks tomorrow night though, the bigger fireworks for Pirate Night. So we're gonna get in position now, ready for this big kind of marble show that happens up on the top.
from Heroes Unite to end Marvel Day at Sea here on the Disney Dream. That was a brilliant show. It was about 40 minutes in length and there was so much going on everywhere, wasn't there? That was a great show. And if you love Marvel, to see all the Marvel characters together was just brilliant. There was superheroes everywhere. Ooh. I love Spider-Man, how he was kind of everywhere there too. He was kind of climbing up the chimney. That was really cool. Uh, along with that, they were coming over on the wires. There was pyrotechnics involved and we also got the fireworks at sea, which Yay! was really cool. Uh, off the side of the ship they kind of launched them on an angle uh, which is really cool like it was quite windy when we first stepped outside after dinner so we didn't know if we we're going to get to see them and yeah that was really nice just added to the show uh, but what I loved about that is it was full on like you were really in the heart of it it was like you were actually in a Marvel superhero movie I like the use of the screen that was cool wasn't it oh that was so good I just loved the show I thought it was fantastic and so well put together it was like just an overall brilliant production there was stuff going on the stairs on the ground all the way around was very busy we got there about 25 minutes before the show to get a seat kind of right in the middle where we were uh, and that was a good spot to watch the production uh, but no it was absolutely fantastic that was uh, one of the highlights that we've seen here on the cruise so far uh, but we've had another brilliant day we've packed loads in it feels like you know you just get so much done on a day at sea don't you you do it feels like today's gone so slow but we've seen so much yeah we really have another really nice dinner of course the food in the buffet was fantastic oh, as so well good. Uh, that was really nice. Just having a bit of a chill this afternoon. I watched that sunset. Charlotte had a sleep. Cruise naps. <laughs> uh, we saw that other show with Mickey and Minnie and Friends. That was really good. And the Marvel Day at Sea is very impressive. I mean, ourselves, we're not like huge superhero Marvel fans. Uh, we enjoyed seeing it all though today. Uh, but if you love Marvel, then this is a brilliant experience. In the atrium as well, when Groot came out. and oh, uh, like Thor was up there. Like the whole thing. That was really cool before dinner as well. And it's the fact
fact that you know everything's on theme uh, from like even the sticker here in mm. our room um, to everything that's going on around the ship cakes yeah and like the cakes the food the fact that uh, the servers had like marble ties on it's the little things like that it completely changes the experience every day and up next it's pirate day oh I'm really looking forward to that and we should have some more fireworks as well hey and coming up in the third vlog we're actually going to be heading off the ship tomorrow morning we can be ashore from 8.30 uh, until 4.45 I yes, think it is, it is back on board uh, so we're going to be in Kazumo, Mexico and um, we're looking forward to that I still don't know if I'm saying it right but I've heard like three different ways of pronouncing it yeah. whilst I've been on it <laughs> um, all from the different cast members so we'll find out tomorrow maybe we'll ask a local that's coming up we're going to be off the ship and we're back on for pirate night so another action packed vlog uh, for you all to stay tuned for here on the channel but thank you very much for watching and have your own adventures see you in the next video